Hi, Rick here from Mariner Models, DJI dealer from the UK and uh, RC specialist for over 40 years. Uh, it's been coming up quite often on the um, uh, forums and uh, Facebook groups recently of people not understanding their IMU settings. Um, so good idea before flights is to always check your IMU. So this is different from the actual compass itself. Um, so the quickest way to go in and actually check it, if you click on the mode switch, so we're in MC settings, down to advanced settings, and then the one we're looking for is sensors. This is all the internal sensors. So what you're basically looking for in your IMU, so this is things like the gyroscope, the accelerometers, we're all kind of looking for plus or minus one or under. So, um, so for example, my uh, settings here are quite okay. However, compass settings here, as you can actually see, I'm actually running a compass error already because I've literally just done a firmware update and that can put the compass out. So you can see the values here are, are actually quite odd. These want to be sort of plus or minus, um, plus or minus 300, but the end values want to be in the region of about 1500 ideally. So um, that is requiring a compass calibration. That's one where you put it into calibration mode, you rotate it 360, put it on its nose and rotate it 360. But other couple other ones I want to come down to is things like these ones here. These are for the uh, IMU, which is the internal, me internal measurement unit. So this is what tells the Inspire if it's actually on the straight and level, where the compass just tells it what directions it's heading in. So you can check your IMU status Calibration not needed because I've gone through my values and they are, they are okay. However, if you want to do a calibration, you have a basic calibration. So you can see that's in progress there. That'll just zip along there. So if you do have any unusual values, that should actually sort them out. But if you feel they're still not right, you can actually do an advanced calibration. So we just click on that. Right, we sometimes get this if your model has actually been on for a bit. So as I've actually just done a firmware update, uh, the model has been sort of ticking over. So it's actually telling me that it's too hot, so it won't let us progress. So if you do get this, oh, in fact, no, it's just allowed me to bypass it. Obviously, it wasn't quite that hot. Now, the advanced calibration does take a lot longer. So, um, in fact, I think it takes about, it can take 10 to 20 minutes. So, um, if the progress is very slow on that one, don't worry about it. Obviously, before you start this um, calibration, make sure you've got a you know, well-charged battery and then just let it uh, rock on through its um, advanced calibration. And as you can see, we're at sitting at 99%, so we're almost there and calibration done. Oh no, it's going into a it's now going to go into a basic calibration as well, just to finish off. And that's us. So if you did have any unusual um, values, these should all be rectified. As I say, the compass ones are actually showing quite far out. We've obviously got a compass error. So what I'm going to do just now, I'm actually going to do a um, compass calibration and then I'll plug it back in again. So we go on to there and hit on. So I'm just going to Click on there and I'm going to pick up my model. So it's basically saying, uh, do I want to do it? And I want to get this started. Yes, I do. So it's now telling me, first of all, to do the 360 degree rotation. Now I'm doing this inside, so this is not ideal. And then we go into the nose down one. Again, 360 degree rotation. Oh, must not have been flat. And we're done. Put that back down again. So now showing um, on the compass calibration that we're now normal. So if I go back in here, oh, get rid of that, go back in here, we've now, if you now recheck our values, so we're roughly, okay, we're slightly over, but generally plus or minus 300 is okay, that's still okay, and then around the sort of 1500 for the other two values. And looking at the rest of the ones, these have all settled down quite well as well. So again, then plus or minus one, uh, and yeah, basic calibration is all finished. So um, that is basically how to check your IMU sensors, how to do a quick calibration compass, uh, basic compass calibration if required. Um, but I hope that uh, just clears a couple of issues up. It's something I've been noticing coming up quite a lot on the on the forums and Facebook groups about the IMU calibrations. And it's important that your IMU calibration is good. You've got good values because um, if the model doesn't know that it's 
uh, what is flat, then it doesn't actually know what attitude it's on, and this can cause drifting or pitching after you take off. So very important. I do believe on the latest firmware update as well that now if the IMU is quite far out, the model will not arm its motors and will not take off, and it'll actually prompt you to do an IMU calibration. But if it doesn't, it's always sometimes a good idea if you're about to do maybe a bit of an unusual mission, best to actually double check your IMU and your compass before you actually take off. Uh, again, I'm Rick here from Man of Models, DJI dealer from the UK. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more on the Inspire One, and I thank you, bye.